Okay, so here's how we verify the uh, television installation installation on the wall. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I'm I'm actually talking for the video. Oh, uh, but basically, what I'm doing is I'm using this Microsoft tablet with the website on it, HDMI output adapter. Um, we're not going to get quite the resolution out of this type of situation that we might out of a dedicated device, but it's still pretty good. Uh, so you can see, I think, I think this was a 60 inch TV. And so what I do on a tablet happens on the TV. So the tablet can, and a TV can display through there. So we can, I don't have the Wi-Fi hooked up right now, but if I were to go through the, uh, the YouTube display resolution kind of depends on a computer and a device you're, you're doing it. And, and of course the resolution on the upload. Um, so what happens with a situation like this is when the, when the tablet goes into sleep mode, sometimes the TV goes in the, into the mode too. Um, let's see what's going on here. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, um, uh, anyway, so we verified that everything works, but I think maybe the, uh, the computer was running out of battery. So, um, come on. Yeah, I think the, the computer was running out of battery. But anyway, so that's what happens when we, uh, we, we check everything. Yeah, no, you're not out of battery. I think what happened is, is when the cable connector here is jiggling a little too much, it, it starts to get a little finicky with me. But anyway, um, that is how we, we verify the insulation on the HDMI cable. And then just a little word of advice when, you've, you, when you're upgrading to a flat screen TV, uh, what we want to make sure of is when, when I install these, I'm always going to put an HDMI cable behind the wall when we're doing a behind the wall installation. I've got that little three element hanging down. That's going to be disconnected uh, or just shoved up behind the TV as soon as they update the, uh, the cable or the satellite box. And, but this, this is how I'm able to test the stuff. So if you're into installations, and you you know you have a Microsoft enabled uh, tablet. This, this is one of the ways you can do it. You just get that little adapter cable. It's about thirty five bucks, and that's that's how you can verify that the installation is working when, let's say, somebody's set top box and all of that stuff has not been uh, updated to HDMI because you you still want it running through the walls and and that sort of a thing. So anyway, we'll get going here.